equity and excellence for all students in the Federal Way School District. We'll chat with the school superintendent, Rob New, next on Newsmakers. Hi, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. We are in Spokane today at the annual meeting of the Washington State School Directors Association. And joining me right now is Rob New. New is the superintendent for the Federal Way School District. Mr. That's New, thanks so much for coming on the program. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's a real pleasure meeting you. You, uh, as I said, are superintendent of Federal Way Schools. It's a very big district. Give us a little bit of uh, information as far as how many students you serve and is it a diverse population? We serve 22,000 students in 37 schools and uh, we're a minority majority school district, meaning that we have um, about 38% of our population are Caucasian students, 22.5% are Hispanic students, um, and then about 15% each in African American and Asian. Uh, but most noteworthy is that our students speak approximately 130 different first languages in their homes. Wow, that is awfully diverse. Mm -hmm. A lot of students on free and reduced lunch. Are you seeing a, a difference in terms of financial resources for each student? Yeah, we have. In, in the last 10 years, we've doubled the, the number of students who qualify for the federal subsidies. So we're at about 55% now that are on a free and reduced lunch. Talk a little bit about equity and excellence. It's something that you really strive for in your district. So, so give us some examples of, of how you strive that. Nationally, there's a real um, uh, problem with what we call the achievement gap. And I also like to talk about the opportunity gaps. And what that really means is that students, minority students, students of color, are, tend to be underrepresented and underserved. And so we've uh, implemented a couple of policies, uh, pretty, pretty bold reform initiatives, one called standard-based education, the other academic acceleration that really is designed to eliminate those gaps, ensure that all students receive a world-class education, and, and, and ensure, ensure that all students achieve at very high levels. So for those who don't know, what is the academic acceleration? What are you doing there? What we've done is traditionally for your advanced placement courses, what we know as AP, mm -hmm. or the international baccalaureate uh, programs, uh, traditionally uh, students have to earn their way in, uh, certain, there's kind of gatekeeping policies. In our district, any student who has met minimum proficiency, by, by that I mean passing the, the prerequisite classes or passing the state test in those content areas, they're automatically placed in those more rigorous classes. So what we've done is we basically have doubled the number of students participating in the most rigorous programs. And are you seeing good results with that? We're seeing fantastic results in that. We're seeing students that didn't think they belonged having success. And w while doubling the, the number of students participating, our test scores actually slightly increased. Wow. Tell us about a little bit, I should say, tell us a little bit about standards-based education. What does that mean? Standards-based education is, uh, we, we took our curriculum and we started with the exit expectations of, of, of graduating seniors in our most rigorous courses and aligned our curriculum backwards into preschool. And in each course and each grade level, we, our teachers, uh, uh, kind of, I guess, sorted through all the power standards or the, the, the international benchmark standards and decide on the 15 most essential skills in each class that each student has to know. And so by that, uh, we've, we've made our curriculum a little bit more clear. We have uh, eliminated some of the, the institutional um, barriers that have gotten away of student learning and basically uh, we grade through competence. So what that means is that if a student didn't pass a standard, they get to retest or reassess or redo the project or parts of that test to show that they've demonstrated mastery of the concept. And again, you're seeing success there? We're seeing tremendous success there. There was a learning curve last year. It was pretty significant reform, um, but the, the system has stabilized and we're seeing tremendous success where teachers are, 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 are reporting significant gains in student learning and the students are reporting that they appreciate knowing what's expected of them and having multiple opportunities to demonstrate mastery. All right, Superintendent New, thanks so much for coming on the program. Thank you. Nice to chat with you. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers, headline news at the top and bottom of the hour.